Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video, and this one, I'm in Predis, Predis AI, and this is a fantastic social media AI-driven content manager or content creation. This is basically the equivalent of having Canva, ChatGPT, and Hootsuite all in one tool. This is wild. Now, if you are a social media manager or you're a content creator, you maybe you run digital marketing agencies, things like that. If you create a lot of content for social media, you really got to watch this because this tool will allow you to scale awesomely. And not only that, you can try it out free. You get a free crack and they don't even ask for your credit card. So join me. Let's take a look. All right. So the first step is you want to go to Predis.ai and I will put a link in the description below. And when you do that, you just want to click on try for free up here at the top right. Now, you'll see here that you can log in with multiple different methods. I'm going to go ahead and use my Google account. But if you have an Apple account, a Facebook account, or just a standard email address, you can go ahead and do that. Let's log in. I have an account, so it's just going to go ahead and log me in. And then presto, we're going to see the back end. This is where we do what we need to do. All right, so we're now on the back end, and we've got the dashboard here. And you'll see on the left side that there's a nice menu here. This is pretty standard stuff. The first place I generally take a look at is content library. The reason why is because I've already created some content. And as I scroll through this, you'll see here that I've got all sorts of uh, images. I've got video content. I've got articles, all sorts of different things here. And the last ones you'll notice here, they all seem to have that nice darker purple and black sort of gradient. The reason why is because you can also brand your content. So if, you're, if your social media accounts have special colors or you've got a logo or uh, something like that, you can go ahead and do that. So let me show you how to do that next. And then we'll start creating some content. All right, I just want to quickly mention before we dig into the branding and customization side of things, there are a few other things in this menu. We're going to go into detail on all of them later on. But I just want to quickly bring attention to the content calendar, scheduling posts, the date, the time is a piece of cake in Predis AI and Idea Lab. If you get stuck for an idea and you're not sure what to create content on, you can use their AI generative tool here and it will help you come up with ideas. And last but not least, competitor analysis. I mean, it's one thing to create good content. It's another thing to know maybe what your competitors are doing and what's working for them. Use this tool. It's awesome. All right. Now let's get into branding and social accounts. All right. So I've clicked on brand and social accounts here. And this is both extremely important and extremely easy to set up. So I quite like it here. Now, the first thing here is I am in the brand details tab. And you're going to see that I don't have one, but three sets of brand colors. Normally, you only need one, but for me, because I have multiple different accounts, so if you're a digital marketing agency or you're a social media manager for multiple accounts or multiple brands, you may want to do what I've done here and create multiple brand colors. Do keep in mind that the dot in the circle there indicates which color I am currently using. So here you go. So I've gone ahead and added in these two colors. If I want to add in another color, I just hit the plus sign and then I can click on it and add in another color. If I want orange, bang, we've got orange in there. It's literally as easy as clicking that plus piece of cake. The next thing you'll want to do down here is you're going to want to make sure that you've got your fonts correct. Now, I'm using Montserrat and Playfair, but hey, whatever fonts you want to use, go ahead. And if you have custom fonts, you can upload those and do that. Make sure you change your brand name as well. I've just got it set as my name just for this demo uh, purpose. Curtis Pike, my brand social handle is Curtis Pike because I'm original. And my website is curtispike.com, extra original. So you could just add that in very simple, but take a look at this brand hashtags. Now I've got four here that I've added in. I've added in AI because I do a lot of AI teaching. And then I've added in my name, Curtis Pike, AI tech, etc. So something that you want to add in. And of course, all you gotta do is just type it in like this, uh, Curtis 77. And there we go. We've added in another brand hashtag. Nice and easy. In terms of tonality, I like to keep mine friendly, but a lot of people will want to select professional, especially if you're an agency and <laughs> you want to keep it professional, go ahead. But I've gone ahead and selected friendly, select as you see fit. And then last but not least, you can do your time zone here and your logo. So if you have your own logo, you can go ahead and upload it here. I'm just going to use the Predis logo for this demonstration here. And if I wanted to change that, I could just X out and click on the upload button. And bang, I just gone ahead and uploaded my logo. Same thing for a dark background logo. All that's there as well as the font color. So you can go ahead and do that. It's pretty simple. Now let's get into the social platforms. All right, the social platforms is right here. Just click on it and then you're going to see a few things. 
Now, there's Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google My Business. I don't think that's really around anymore. TikTok, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Now, I've added in just a couple of them, but I want to show you how easy it is. So I've just, all you have to do literally is just click on the add button and then just click on link to Instagram, for example. So I click link Instagram. It's going to load up my Instagram account. And then as long as I'm logged in, you're going to have the option to go ahead and select the account. So I'm going to select this one here, Curtis Pike, because that's what I'm working with. And then literally, that's it. I click on save. Curtis Pike has been activated. That's how cool this is. So there you go. These are the different accounts you can add in here. And you will see I've got all sorts of different accounts because, you know, I just want to show you uh, different styles based on different accounts. If we go up here to the top tab for integrations, if you have a Shopify WooCommerce or any e-commerce platform, there is e-commerce functionality built into Predis that you want to take a look at. We're going to go a little bit more into the particular types of content in a minute, but linking up to your store here is piece of cake. Similar to what I just did there, you can either link to it in Shopify or upload a CSV, comma separated value file, and bang, it will go ahead and do that. Also, uploads here is if you have your own you know, I uploaded, for example, I uploaded the logos or I uploaded, you know, if I want to use particular images for my posts, for example, you can click on uploads, 200 gigabytes there, and I've already used 98 megs, so I've got 199.9 gigabytes left. Lots of space. Template, same type of thing. If you have a template, go ahead and do it. And last but maybe not least is exports. This is where you can go ahead and just download stuff. So I just created this one the other day, the science behind stand-up comedy. If I want to use it and it just you know, outside of maybe just automatically sharing it, I'll just click that download button and press the, my battery's running low, but I've downloaded the video. So there you go, guys. That's branding and social accounts. Now let's get into the heart of the program and look at the content creation side of things. All right, so to create content, all you need to do is go to the left side in the menu, click on content library. When you do that, you'll see here, we've got some options here. We've got some content I've already created. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create new. And check this out, we've got nine options to choose from. All right, so of these nine, they're all great, but I tend to use text to post, blog to post, and meme post as the my go-tos. But again, we'll take a look at all of them, but let's go with text to post first. Now you'll look underneath it, you'll see videos, images, and carousel. That tells me that it can create any of those three options. So if I click on this one here, text to post, take a look at this here. It says text to post, and then in here, I can type the kind of post that I want. So what's my post about today? Let's do one about stand-up comedy in Vancouver, BC. And I'm just winging it here. This can be anything you want. Before I hit generate, a couple things here. There is an AI tool. So if you are stuck and you need ideas, you can click on that here. Now, underneath here, you're going to see post type, long video, AI, English, custom, variants, design, caption, etc., I am going to go ahead and click on post type here first. And look at this. You'll see here that I can get any of these different styles. So I've got a long video. So I'm asking for a video over 30 seconds. But if I want an image carousel or if I want a video with a voiceover, a short video, all of these are available or just an image or let AI run it, I can go ahead and do that. So keep that in mind. You're not confined to a particular type here. So I'm going to leave it as is. But I did want to show you that here for assets. I can let AI suggest premium assets. I can leave that on. So I'm not, let's just leave it on. Why not? Or I can select my own assets. If I know what I want in that post exactly, you can go ahead and do that. Ling language, obviously, we'll just leave that. Brand, it's selecting my brand colors. Those are selected. Variance is very important here. It defaults to one, but if you want a whole bunch of different cracks at it, so let's say I want to, you know, I want three or maybe let's go with five ideas. You can go all the way up to seven. It'll take a little while longer, but it'll give you some more suggestions. So we'll go with that. We're going to jack the variance up to five here. And the rest here, we'll see caption. Do I want captions on? Yeah, we'll leave caption length at medium. And then we're just going to click on generate. Now it's going to cook it up. I'll come back when it's done. It should take only a few seconds to show you what we got. All right, so it's gone ahead and created five variants like we requested. Now let's take a look at them here. You'll notice that four of them are in, you know, our branding colors of orange and purplish. And then this one here looks a little bit out of the normal range, but it looks like it's more focused on a person as opposed to the event. So anyways, let's let's take this one here, D Discover Vancouver's Comedy Hotspots. This one sounds pretty good, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit here. 
All right, here we go. So here's the first step. You'll see here we've got this image, uh, this video part of me. And then over here on the right side, it says ready to laugh and do your side cert. So it's already gone ahead and given us some content, video content. It's filled in everything literally from one click, as you'll see. Let's play it. It even has my website at the bottom. That's awesome. And my logo up at the top. Here we go. So let's play it. And then I'm going to show you how to edit it, which is where it gets really, really cool. Cool. That's fair. Just for Laughs Northwest. So you'll see here, basically, it's a series of multiple videos sort of stitched together here, all comedy or comedy related, although the last one looked to be a little bit more improvish. But hey, you know what? This is what we got. But here's the thing. You're not stuck with it. If there are things you want to change about it, I'm going to show you how to do that now. And this is where the magic happens. All right. So for this one, there was one scene in there that wasn't quite what I would have put in for a stand-up comedy show. If it was an improv or a mix show, I would. But in this case, it's just pure stand-up comedy. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit it. So of course, you can publish it or download it if you want to. But we want to make one quick change here. So I'm just going to click on edit. And then boom, we are brought into this editor. Now, the first thing I always do is I click on this timeline button here because it just sort of shows me a little bit more what I'm working with. This is optional, but of course I like to do that, but I'm gonna turn it off for now. Okay, so as I log in here, you'll see here that we've got all of the scenes, they're stacked on top of each other. And which scene was it? This one here. This one maybe I don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Watch this, I'm just gonna click on the, the video part of me. And when I do that, look at this. I can go ahead now and start making changes. In terms of changes on the left side here, we can make big changes. If I want to change the entire design, I can go ahead and use one of these alternative templates. I really like this one because it's got my orange and purpley colors, but you can look over here and flip through them and see something. If you see something you like, go ahead and use that. For me, I'm going to go ahead and click on media. And when I do that, this is where the awesome part comes in. See here, they've got uh, these, you know, sort of improv type people doing a little bit of a dance there. Well, stand-up comedy only has a little bit of that in here. So I'm just going to click on media and then I can select images, videos, or audios. Now look at this. I'm going to go ahead and click on videos and I can take any of these videos. They're pre-built. They're already there. And let's see what I like. I like this one here. Let's click on this one here. All I got to do to replace it is just click on it and watch this. It's gone ahead and done it. Now, here's the thing. If I double click on this, I can even slide the video over here. So if it's not quite the right aspect ratio for the type of video you're creating, just click on it and you can resize and reposition literally with just a click. So this is something that I might like, something like that. I'll click out. And then when I rewatch this, I can go ahead now and have this included in there. Also, as I go through this here, I can zoom in a bit here and see what it says, annual comedy festival. Okay, that sounds really, really good. It's got my website name there. Here's another image of a stand-up comedian against a wall. This is very, very common stuff. Little Mountain Gallery. Okay, maybe that's not what I want. I just want to adjust the text. I just double click on it. And now I'll be like uh, Curtis's comedy house. Something like that. Whatever I want it to say. See how easy it is to make adjustments to this? This is what makes it so awesome. Now, on the left side here, we've got a few other options. If you have an upload, like for example, I've uploaded an image of Dave Chappelle. If I wanted Dave Chappelle to be maybe my the front the front piece here because he's our, you know, our showcase comedian, watch this. This is the first scene. I'm just going to click on this video here and I'm just going to double click. You'll see here that I've got it included. Click out. I'm going to just click on this and it's going to change it. It's going to swap it in that easily. If it's not positioned correctly, I'm going to double click it and maybe I'll move him to the left a little bit just like that. Look at this. This is fantastic. If I want to pull my logo out, because it doesn't look right there, I could just click on delete. And this is how you create stuff. Now, once you've got it kind of where you want it, you go up here to the top here, we can click on logo. You'll see here that we can remove logos, we can change them, the videos, we can add in new videos. If we've got new videos, we want to upload. But up here, this is where we can get into some more magic. Look at this. Captions. Here's what it says. So when you publish it to your Social media, for example, here's the uh, wording that it says, and I got rid of Little Mountain Gallery, so I don't want it to say, check out the hidden gem, Curtis's 
comedy house. So we've just switched that up there. Here's some hashtags that are included in it. If we want more hashtags, I'll click on the hashtag button here, and it's going to give us a whole bunch of suggestions. Like this is this is pretty wild stuff because, you know, sometimes you want to make sure that your your hashtags put you in the correct local markets, for example. So here we go. You'll see here that I've got, you know, comedy show. Okay, that's a good hashtag. I'll add that one. Stand-up comedy. I like that one. YouTube comedy. Whatever. We can just start adding in comedy pieces, comedy live. Yeah, comedy shows. And they're just adding it into the edit box there. And those are going to go with it when you hit share. And finally, if you're really stuck and you need suggestions, you can click on this button here. For example, it'll say number of hashtags is good. There are a few things we could, you know, we want to change the time of posting and stuff like that. But again, pretty much what you want here, if you want to export it just as a video, click on right there and it's going to download it. And if I want to share it, which is what I want to do, I'm just going to wait for the video to export. All right, here we go. So we have exported the video. If you're ever not sure, just go ahead and click on your little download button, depending on what browser you're in. I'm in Chrome. I click on that button here. It says Predis underscore video. That is the video. It's been downloaded to my downloaded file. However, that's not really what I want to do. I want to click on the share button. Actually, let's save it just to be sure. So I just click on the save little save icon. Now let's click on share. And then again, it will save it. It'll save it, pardon me, just to make double sure. But here is where the magic can happen. Look at this. When we do this, it loads up our connected account. So this is my comedy account. I've got two of them. And you'll notice here that I have connected Instagram. So I've got Instagram on this one. I've got Twitter on my other one. But this one is purely Instagram. I can now share it directly to my business account. I can share it to my other account, which is my personal comedian account. And then in order to publish it, I could just click on publish all if I want it to go right now. If I want to schedule it, they've got a content scheduler here built in. So I'm just going to click on schedule all. And then look at this. I can select the date. I'm going to select the 5th. Then I can select the hour. Maybe I want it to go up at 9. Let's go with 9 a.m. And yeah, something like that. There we go. 9. Select the a.m. And presto, this could schedule the post. It will be ready to go at that time. I'm going to clear it. But that is all you need to do to schedule a post. And then finally, if you're part of a digital marketing agency or you're a content manager and you want to, you know, send this off for review or, you know, get a double check on it, which is always a good idea, click on send it for review and then send it to someone on your team and they can double check it just to make sure that it's good to go. It's going to the right accounts, etc. There we go. That is how you create content. And this is just one of many different pieces of content that we can create inside Predis. It's absolutely crazy. All right, let's go on and click on to the next thing. All right, really quickly here, I want to show you how to create memes. This is one of my favorite things to do, especially when you're having a rough day. You'll see here I've got a couple examples here. Trying to learn to code accidental enter key masterpiece created. And this is a funny one here. Study coding, practice coding exercise, fall asleep, fall asleep. <laughs> so how did I do that? Very simple. This is another thing I really like to do. Just go to content library, of course, click on create new. And then down here in the middle, you got meme post. Now, there are all of these different ones here you can try out, and they're all great. Meme post is one of my favorites. What am I dealing with here? What, what do I want to meme about? Um, dog won't play fetch. Only keep away. Something like that. I'm just having some fun. My dog is notorious for this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, the one thing I do always recommend under variants, change it from one to, I don't know, I'm going to go with five, but you can go all the way up to seven. And I'm going to let AI do the design, but if I had a template that I wanted in mind, if I had a template in mind, I could just go ahead and select it, click on Generate. Let's see what we get. All right, welcome back. So a few of these are actually pretty darn good here. We got the Robert Downer Jr. one, of course. But look at this one. Can we play fetch? Dog will not play fetch. Only keep away. <laughs> and then he's getting <laughs> held here. I might switch that up a little bit by changing the font here. But again, that's a really funny one here. And then this one here, look at this one. I'm just patiently waiting for that ball to be thrown. That is exact. That is a funny, funny, funny meme. So that is just another thing you can do with these. And then if you wanted to publish these, just click on it here. Edit if you want to. It's in your brand colors, as you can see here. Click on publish, download it. Just go nuts. Add some tags. Add some hashtags. Do what you need to do. Okay, so there's just that. Those are just some of my favorite things you can do in the content library. But when I click on it again... Just remember, keep in mind here, when I click on Create New, there's all of these different options. If you have an e-commerce store, making e-commerce posts that allow you to put links in there so people can purchase 
your uh, products is an event fantastic idea as is creating videos around specific products so if you have like a, you're selling lawn chairs and you want to create a quick 30 second video about your lawn chair this is obviously the tool to do that for you really really good stuff now i want to show you the content scheduler and we're going to get close to wrapping this up all right very briefly here on the left side you'll see content calendar now earlier on i showed you how you can directly schedule content right and the content creation side of things but if you have a, you know, you just want to, you know, click on a particular time, like let's say I want to maybe post something at 8 a.m. on uh, June 6th, I could just click on that time here, and then you'll see here that I can go through my list of things here, and I can go ahead and select one. I kind of like this one here. I can select that one, and then presto, I can do very similar to what you can do earlier on when we created this uh, directly. I could add this to one of my accounts, maybe Turnkey Comedy, maybe this one here. And then I can just hit the schedule button and it is ready to go. So just keep that in mind. All right, the next thing I'm going to briefly touch on here is the Idea Lab. This is where you go if you're not sure what to do. You don't, you're not sure what kind of content you want to create for that day or for that week. A lot of times, you know, social media, there's so much content out there. And having a great idea every single day can be difficult. So I will just go to the Idea Lab here. I'll click on New Conversation. And then here, I'll just start writing in here what I'm trying to think about. So if I'm doing a stand-up, I don't know, stand-up comedy event in Vancouver, I need some ideas. I'll just go ahead and click there. And then this is going to go ahead and use the AI. It's basically like ChatGPT, but um, it's using Predis AI here. And then it's going to go ahead and give me some suggestions like laugh out loud, stand-up comedy night takes over Vancouver. Okay, that's not bad. Share a teaser video of a comedian performing at the event with a caption like, get ready to ROFL at the... another great idea. If I like the idea, I just hover over it and I can start creating posts off of these ideas. If I don't get an idea that I like, I'll just go back in here and type something else in and continue to iterate and refine it until I get an idea that I can work with. And boom, there we go. So here's another one. Announcement post with the event details and ticket information. Great idea. Introduce the lineup of comedians with short bios and funny quotes. Excellent. This is the Idea Lab. This is where you go when you're having some content block and you need to come up with something. All right, the next thing I want to cover here real briefly is competitor analysis. I'm going to go ahead and click on that here. And then you're going to see here we can add in our competitors. So it's always nice to know what your competitors are doing, you know, what's working for them, what's not working for them, best practices in your niche, etc. So I've gone ahead and gone to Instagram and I'm taking the Comedy Store, which is one of the biggest com comedy clubs in America, we're going to use that as our fictitious competitor. I'm going to command V, paste in their account name, and then presto, you're going to see it automatically finds it. So the comedy store it is. I'm just going to go ahead and add that, the Instagram account, click on done. And then there we go. We've now added in the comedy store. All right, welcome back. So you'll see here if, you know, the logo or any of this content is not showing up, just keep in mind that you can click on refresh analysis. And it will go ahead and then just refresh it and pull in that data. Now, I tend to go over here to start at the post performance side of things because I like to get an idea as to the type of post they create. So I can see very quickly here that they've got 57 carousel, 59 video, and 50 image posts. So that's a pretty, uh, you know, fair distribution here. They're kind of, they're keeping it equal here. The engagement contribution, you can see here that the videos tend to get the highest engagement rate which makes sense because videos in general tend to do so. So there you go. You can look at that here. You can see when they're online, their engagement. I mean, if you're a data analyst or you've got that sort of uh, analytical bent, you can dig in and go through the data here. Uh, I like to look at their best performing posts. This one here, for example, was when they opened up 52 years ago. That's a cool post. If you haven't created one of those for your business, you may want to consider doing that. And then just go ahead and you can click on any of them. Here is all of their posts. So this one here, for example, went up yesterday. Yes, and it's got zero likes. It's got three comments. You can dig in here as well. You can even go ahead and look at it. And then if you go back up here to the top here, I tend to go, oops, there we go. I'll take a look at their hashtags. What hashtags are they using? Well, here's their top five. I mean, I don't know if those, you can look at your competitors and if there's a hashtag there that you're missing, add it in and then just go through their details here. You can see all of them. And then the content themes, this is another area I tend to look at because I like to know the type of content that they're creating, specifically the type of, you know, are they, what kind of videos, what do they look like exactly? So if I want to take a look here, I could just click on that one here. It will open up Instagram and I could see, hey, that's a cool style. I like that one. And there you go. Just 
flip through these here, you'll see here that you got their engagement rates. All of that stuff here is in here. You can take a look through it, guys. Uh, that is it in a nutshell. Uh, one other thing I want to mention here is if you're ever not sure they have tutorials, I can click on their training videos here. It'll take me to their YouTube channel. They've got, I guess, well, how many videos? they got 23 training videos up there. So if you're ever stuck, I don't know how to link to Twitter or x.com or, uh, you know, I can't link my LinkedIn account. They've got videos there to troubleshoot and help you every step of the way. So that is Predis AI. It is a fantastic social media content creation, content, content distribution system. Thanks for watching this video. Be back soon.